locking down the environment. At this point, Link should be completely functional. We need to lock down the firewall because all ports are open to all of the NAT addresses, which is highly undesirable. So we're going to walk through configuring address objects, services, and then setting up the filter rules. So the first one we're going to do ties to IntelliPeer. Their SIP traffic only comes from a small set of IPs, so we're going to set up an address object that represents those external IPs. Click Add, specify WAN, range, and do the start IP and the end IP. These are provided to us by IntelliPeer. Give the object a name. Click Add, click Close. Now go to Service Objects under Firewall. Click Add. Create one called Link SIP TCP 5060 to 5060. Click Add. Change the contents to link RTP, UDP, and 5000 up through 65535. Click Add. Now create one link SIP Federation, TCP, port 5061 through 5061. Click Add. Now create link STUN on UDP 3478 through 3478. Click Add. Create link AV over TCP with TCP and 50,000 through 59999. Click Add. Create Link AV over UDP. UDP, and the ports are the same as the last one, which is 50,000 through 59999. Click Add. Create Link SIP port 4431 through 4432 on TCP 4431, 4432. Click Add. Create link SIP 443 on TCP 443 to 443. Click Add. Click Close, and we're going to create some groups. Hit Add Group. Link Edge Service Group, and add in SIP Federation, STUN, AV over TCP, AV over UDP, and the two SIP 4431 to 4432, and 443. Click OK. Click Add Group. Create Link IntelliPeer Service Group and add Link SIP and Link RTP. Click OK. Now go to Access Rules. If it's not already selected, pick Matrix and do WAN LAN. These are the rules that were automatically created by the wizard we ran in previous stages. So this is Exchange. We're going to edit this one. Pick the service SMTP and click OK. At this point we need to add another rule because we've broken the HTTPS that needs to get to Exchange, so click Add. Specify HTTPS, the source of any, and send it to 10.0.1.202. Click Add. Click Close. Note that the default rule didn't have these checked and the new one did, so we're going to make those match. Click Cancel. So in this one, the one we just made, we're going to edit that and uncheck these two. Click OK. Okay, now we're moving on to Link. We're going to edit 203. Pick the Link IntelliPeer service group that we created earlier and click OK. We're going to make another rule so that HTTPS can get to that 203, so we're going to click Add. Uncheck these as we did. So we want HTTPS, any, and 10.0.1.203. Click Add and Close. And finally, the Access Edge on 214, so click Edit. Change the service to Link Edge Service Group and click OK. So we've got the Edge Service Group to 214. We have the IntelliPeer Service Group to 203. HTTPS to 203. HTTPS to 202 and SMTP to 202. For added security, a reverse proxy should be put in place with something like Windows 2008 ARR or Microsoft Forefront Threat Management Gateway. Both of those tools add an extra layer of security. If you can afford to purchase them, you should do so.